on Remembrance Day, I usually get together with my family. I have a few grandparents and great-grandparents uh, who have fought in the wars. It's uh, really commemorating what soldiers uh, did for us, for Canada, representing our country. It's a good thing that uh, we remember those who sacrificed their lives before, so we know that we don't have to go through that again. Canadians tell us what Remembrance Day means to them. Today, New Brunswick's Giselle Michaud has a rare and solemn honour, uh, but it's one no doubt she would trade if it meant the circumstances were otherwise. She is Canada's Silver Cross mother this year, and she will lay the wreath at the National War Memorial Ottawa on behalf of all mothers who have lost a child in service to this country. Uh, Giselle Michaud is my guest, and I'm very happy to have her on our program today from Ottawa. Madame Michaud, thank you for being here today, and good morning to you. And good morning. You know, I'm speaking to you as you stand at the National War Memorial, which is the focal point today, and it's about to be rededicated with a special mention of the Afghanistan mission where your son fought and died. Can you tell me what that place, that spot, the memorial means to you, ma'am? It's very special to be here today on that uh, special event. I'm sure it is. Are you able to hear me okay? Because I'm just hearing some noise in the background. I want to make sure that you can hear me properly. Yes, I hear okay, you. Okay, perfect. So it, it's wonderful. It's, it's important to be there, obviously, in the role. We can see, if you just move the microphone just out of the way, I believe you're wearing that silver cross, which is such an important symbol uh, in this country, has been since 1919. Can you tell me what that means to you, to be on the receiving end of that honor. It's quite an honor to, to receive that honor today and to place the, the reef at this, the memorial for all the mothers who lost a child. You have spent, as I understand it, um, Remembrance Day since losing your son in the company of soldiers at home in Edmonston, New Brunswick. Why did you do that in terms of keeping your son's memory alive? Well, we wanted to honor Charles, and with his fellow soldiers, they came at, at home every, every every time. So we like having them around. It's like the, they keep the memory of Charles alive. Isn't that wonderful? You keep the memory of your son Charles alive. We met you in a profile that we've been airing on CBC News Network, and I was really struck by the images in your home, Madame Michaud, of his uniform, of various things that were important to him, some of his personal effects. Can you tell me a little bit about what you have at home and why you keep those things there? Well, we still have his saxophone and his guitar. Really? And he used to play very well, yes. And we have his, his rollerblades and we have his basketball and we keep his things for his memory. To keep it alive. Your son died in 2009. He was the 122nd Canadian soldier uh, to be killed in Afghanistan when he stepped on an improvised um, explosive device. I'm wondering, that's how we know him in some ways, the circumstances of his death. What else on this Remembrance Day, as you're going to lay a wreath in his memory, what else would you like us to know about Charles Philippe Michaud, or Chuck, I guess, as his friends called him? Yes, and especially this year because it's the 100th anniversary of the Royal 22nd Regiment, and Charles was based in Valcartier. So he was one of those proud so Vendus. He was a proud Yes, Vendus. he was. And you told yes, us earlier was. in your profile that uh, he, he wanted to be a soldier all his life, right? Yes, since at a young age, he dressed like a soldier. And he, when he was growing up, he was showing quite some signs that he's going to want to be a soldier, that he wants to serve his country. So uh, what are your thoughts of him on this day? It's re he, he should be proud that he wore the uniform. You mentioned in the profile we've been airing that you will also today be thinking of the two Canadian soldiers lost in recent weeks, uh, Patrice Vincent and Nathan Cirillo. Uh, what are your thoughts for them and for their families today? I'm going to have a special thought, and when I leave the reef, for those families who lost, who lost their son a few weeks ago, and would you like to share any of what your thought will be? 
going to be special, and those families are really grieving right now. I know what they're going through. Exactly. You have felt that sadness yourself. Um, we will be watching you very closely. Canadians will be focused on you as you lay that wreath. So what is your message to us? Canadians will be watching. What is your message to Canadians as the Silver Cross mother today? It's really special to be living in Canada, and we are proud to be Canadians. And our soldiers, do it, our soldiers are doing a great job. Madame Michaud, I thank you very much for joining me today, for sharing your remembrances of your son, and congratulations on the honor. Uh, Silver Cross mother and so well and fittingly representing other mothers in this country. Thank you very much, Jeanne Michaud, at the National War Memorial. Hers is a story of sadness and sacrifice, looking to the loss of her youngest son. You are sending in stories as well and pictures on Remembrance Day, commemorating those who fought and died in the service of this nation. Looking at some more of the photos here, and we're waiting for your submissions on Twitter, on Facebook, Instagram, Vine. You can send it all on social media with the hashtag HowIRememember or email community at cbc.ca.